Hello and welcome to another build video. Um, this day we're talking about a CC build that you've seen very often in the stream already. Uh, it is called the foam build. Though for me it's like the foamy homie. And the reason behind this build is basically the, if you play with players, which we run do always uh, legendaries, we run one CC guy and three DPS players, which means one guy is using this build here kinda and you run a foam and the EMP jammer. Uh, for legendary content, this is really, really good. The jammer keeps the dogs down, the mini tanks, and it also like can kill the hive backpack of the heavy chungus for like a short time, really short time, but it helps. And the main reason behind this build here is the Eclipse set, which is already like the benefit of the Eclipse set. If you don't know it, if you run four pieces, any status effect you put on an enemy, like here as example, you can form that guy on the right side there. Uh, let's see if I can make it. There you go. Nah, he didn't get foamed. Okay, let's see. There. Now they all got foamed. Um, bad example. Okay, there's one guy which is foamed here. So if you kill that guy now, I can do that. Man, I'm so bad. I'm so bad with a rifle. Let's foam him again. So I killed that guy with the status and any status that I apply to that enemy and you kill him will spread to enemies which are close to them. And this is what makes it work on legendary. So the guy with the form is basically form whatever enemy is inside and is close to the others. You form him, your DPS players will kill that guy and it will spread to all the others. And so they have an easier time to kill these enemies and then you have like the EMP as well for the mini tanks and dogs and junglers like I said already. And the other thing that you can do here, like now that we got it, the stage left weapon that we have in the game now, the perfect sledgehammer buff here on this one here is awesome. It is really awesome. That 40% damage buff that it does like to enemies for every damage that is incoming to that enemy is really, really cool. Uh, legendary bosses in raids or whatever. Um, so the way this is working, uh, we run the survivalist here for the fire nade, always on a CC build. Let me explain the build first before I go anymore. Uh, so the build is running on four eclipse sets here. We run one part on the golem. Uh, it doesn't matter where it is. It can be the gloves, the knee pad, holster or mask or whatever. The better you can find it, um, it's it's actually really hard to do because the golem is kind of one piece here. It comes with a blue core, if I remember correctly. And you want skill, haste and status effects on it. And you need to re-roll that skill tier here. So you need to find a golden glass which actually has skill haste and status effects already. So you can re-roll the blue core. Skill haste, by the way, is just uh, the sherry the sherry on the top. Um, you don't need the skill haste. If you find golden wherever, like uh, mask, gloves, knee pad or holster, and they have status effects on it, it's good enough. It's good enough. You don't need to aim for the skill haste. This is just like a perfect example here. But you don't need the skill haste at all. Uh, find one with status effects, re-roll the core to skill tier, and you're good to go. The other part that we're running here is the Acosta go back, and people all all the time ask me, hey, why don't you run the Vile Mask? Uh, the Vile Mask is really good for like a bleeding fire build if you run Solo as example, but the Acosta go back is way better for legendary content because you can overcharge yourself every 60 seconds, and you do this a lot actually uh, from encounter to encounter. Um, the way this is going here with the survivalist, as I said, you have the fire nade. That's why we run the uh, the survivalist here. Uh, you have status effects also on there. Like every enemy you do in status effect to, people will do more damage to that guy. This is one reason why we run the survivalist. The other is the fire nade. The fire nade is awesome from the survivalist for a CC player. So you just throw a fire nade on enemies and from the stage left buff then, if you do that and then you have your stage left in your hand, you see that icon appearing now, this one here. It's actually like these enemies are marked for that damage buff. They take 40% more damage now. And with that overcharge that I got now, I can foam and you see like the circle is way bigger. The effect lasts a lot longer and you can do that every 60 seconds for the overcharge yourself. The sledgehammer buff you can apply all the time with like another nade. So even if the overcharge is on cooldown now, you can just like throw another fire nade and they get the buff again. Yeah, so you can rebuff them. And it's really cool. Like they get like a lot more damage if you do that. There you go. This is like better now. 
I don't know why the icon is not showing, but you actually have the damage buff up yeah, on these enemies. It only shows it like for the first time. I think there's a small issue with that. Just a visual thing. Sometimes you don't even see the uh, the icon, like in the first place. You throw an aid and it doesn't show up, but you still had the stage left in your hand, but it doesn't show up. Don't worry about it. The buff is there. It is there. We tested it and it's actually working. So main weapon is stage left on this set here. And on the offhand, I run the Scorpio, uh, not because I the Scorpio is the best weapon in the game. I mean, it kind of is. It's one of the best weapons. But the other thing is like I have another CC on this weapon. Yeah. So you have Death Orient after three, sec uh, three shots. You have Shock Effect after six shots. And if you shoot like a seventh time, you have another damage buff on that enemy. So the way we do that in Legendary, for example, if you have like the big chunk is coming up, just think about DOA, you do the first part, and then you go into the door, you have that first group, after that first group, there come like three chungas from the back there. So what you basically are doing there is like, you go ahead, you foam them to keep them in place. Then you switch to your stage left, throw the fire nade, get the buff on there, wait for it until the buff is there, switch to Scorpio, and then shoot every one of them seven times. Yeah, So they get the damage buff on top. And... Most of the times before I'm finished buffing these enemies up, the other guys kill them already because the sledgehammer buff, 40% from everything, is just insane. It's really, really cool. You can see it on the uh, raid also, on Iron Horse, the first boss. He, mel he just melts away with that buff all the time from the medic. And yeah, foam, EMP, four times eclipse. Uh, we don't run the backpack here, we run the chest uh, because the chest is actually like it's increasing the range from 10 to 50 meters which is really cool. And it also increases the refresh percentage that you get for a status from 50 to 75%. So if you buff an enemy with a status, and this time that he has left now on top of there, if I would kill that enemy, 75% of that time that is left on the status he has will share to the others. So it can happen if it's really low and I kill him now, that the buff will share, but it runs out like right away because it's like it was about to run out already. So the faster you can kill that guy that is formed in the first place, the higher the status will spread to all the enemies around him, which makes it a lot better. So if you have a group, a group and you have really good DPS players in your group, the, it's way better than like, uh, don't even try this, I would say, on matchmaking most of the time. You have a really hard time. People come in with skill builds, tank builds, low DPS. Uh, this set here for legendary content uh, only, I'm talking only about legendary content at the moment, uh, with the form and EMP, is only working if you have players in your group that have really high DPS to kill these enemies as fast as possible so you can spread the status to the next enemy, then chain it to the next, to the next, to the next. Otherwise, you would just run out of foam while you like try to keep the buff up, the foam on them. Yeah, You would just lose a charge after charge after charge. And the faster the enemies are dying from your teammates, the better this set will work. And nothing I missed here, I would say. Um, survivalist is the only option here for the specialization. Don't run anything else. You need the fire nail, you need the stage left. It's like the best weapon at the moment for any supporter build. Uh, CC, healer, um, even for a tank, I would say the stage left is really cool because you, you can buff yourself a little bit for the damage or you can buff the the enemies for damage for other people in your raid group or in your group as example if you're running a tank um, it's a really really nice weapon and i don't hope they nerf it uh, but they probably will because the damage buff is just way too high but anyway that's it for this video uh, just a quick one about the foam and emp build here for legendary content i hope you enjoy it uh, leave a comment if you like it or if you don't or if you have any questions any suggestions or whatever and i see you on the next one have a good day bye bye